video I'm going to talk about how to import and create a road alignment for stakeout in your Leica CS20. So one option would be, and some prefer this, is to go into the alignment editor, create a new alignment, and manually type in the design data. Once you've created the alignment manually, you come into the stake road and this app gives you lots of power for slopes and uh, different alignment, multiple alignments or different alignments. So uh, although this is a um, uh, very powerful program, I'm going to use the more simple uh, approach and show you how that works in stake to align. So when you're ready to import the data, we're going to come into import data and alignment. Now, here you have a couple different options. One would be that uh, one would be Carlson if you created the or had the center line and the profile created in uh, Carlson. You can um, simply copy the CL file and the PRO file from uh, from uh, the com your laptop or, or for FTP or just transfer it with SD or USB. But somehow. Whatever method you use, you want to get the PRO and the CL files um, into your controller, into your data folder. Uh, alternatively, you could do a land XML, which is basically um, yeah, also for Carlson. If you want to use, um, if you want to use uh, uh, multiple uh, centerline files and multiple profiles, you can do that method as well. So I'm going to uh, use the Carlson for this example. Uh, everything is stored on internal memory. You can put everything on the SD card if you want and build your alignment or you're from there. Uh, I'm going to point to the, the files I brought in. So I brought in my GE Boulevard CL file and I'm going to bring in the matching vertical file, GE Boulevard profile. Say OK. I'm not going to be using section files, but you do have the option of bringing in uh, section files, uh, which helps with uh, super elevated or um, uh, varying widths. So um, here is where we're going to create either a road design or an alignment and I'll show you both and how they differ. Um, and then here's the file that you're going to be creating. So in this example we're going to be doing a road design and I'm going to create a name. And just to be different I'm going to call that GE Boulevard Test. And I'm going to store it to my internal memory and I'm going to link it to the current job. Before you do any importing, I ask that you just do a quick check on your settings. Make sure your linear units are US feet. By default, even if your regional settings are set for US feet, this will still be in meters. So once you change this from meters to US feet for the first time, every time moving forward, it will be uh, set for US feet. But if this is the first time you've seen this screen or used it, then you want to make sure you come into function settings and us feet okay so options road design and alignment so road design is uh let's say you have a center line file and you plan on using that center line road stakeout in multiple jobs you know it doesn't matter whether uh, you're doing as built or you're doing uh, road layout or you're doing a house line Whatever the option calls for, you still want reference to that center line file. Well, if that's the case, then I would just create a road design. And what that means is every time you want to link the job to the job you're in, you just attach the road design. If you have a job and the only task or one of the tasks in this job is to stake out the center line or the road or offsets the road uh, and you won't be doing that in another job, then why not just create the alignment right in the job. So this is kind of, you know, this is the uh, uh, the initial, this has a lot more power to be transferred or copied from job to job where this one is just in the current job only. So um, I'll show you both methods and how they work. So we're going to create a row design, GE Boulevard test, and we're going to say OK. So now we've imported uh, the lines and we've created our uh, um, row design. You wish to import any more? No. So now we're going to come into stake to align. We're going to go to line. We're going to go to uh, the line. When you hit the right arrow, you realize there is nothing there, but I can hit import. And then I, what I want to do is I want to change this to road design. And there's our GE Boulevard test. And this is basically the alignment that uh, was um, 
that was the center line file I had brought in. You can't really rename that, but if I wanted to view it, here is my 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 uh, alignment. Come back over here, say okay. It's been imported. Do you wish to import? No. All right. So now when I come back to the final line where we said none before, now I have a line. Uh, which is the uh, road alignment converted to, uh, sorry, is the road design converted to an alignment. So the other option we had earlier would just jump to the screen. It would already be imported. So now we're going to say OK. And if you come into function settings and use station terminology is on, then you will see stations here. If not, it's just distance along the line. So we can start anywhere. Say the job's already half over and you're starting at station 500 and say the road is 24 feet wide but you're doing two foot offsets so from the center line to the edge of road is 12 uh, plus maybe a two foot offset so you're going to do a 14 foot offset you have the option of doing a vertical offset as well so if the uh, contractor is wishing for you to lay out center line grades then your offset height is zero this is based on your profile if your contractor is asking you to put um, gutter line or a flow line on the stakes and he'll um, put in the crown, then here you want to add an offset. So again, if the road is um, 12 feet left and right at 2%, you would just basically put in minus 0.24. And now this would be 2% at 12 feet on your two foot offset stake. So here you can, next screen is you can, if you check this box, use station increments, you can say, give me every 50 feet. And if I want to put uh, multiple increments or I want to change the increments or along a curve, I can change the, inc inc uh, the increments along a curve to be every, you know, 10 feet if I want, or every 25 feet. And you can choose what radius or, uh, uh, will matter, uh, you know, a very long radius. Maybe it doesn't really matter, maybe it just disappears, but that's your choice, so I usually just turn that off. So next screen is, we're at station 500. We're doing a 14 foot offset left and right. And if you come into function, settings, and design, and you come down to vertical PVI, low, high, PVC, PVT, and you say okay, let me go back in settings, design, if you can choose to have PCs and PTs and angle points, that will give you the angle point, the PCs and PTs on the horizontal curve. If you come down here to vertical, low and highs and PC and VPT, that will give you the vertical PVCs, PTs, high points, etc. So when you're coming along a center line, a road, you're going to have a PC in a road. Then you're going to have a vertical PC somewhere, and then high points, low points the PT of the curve horizontally, the PT. So it's gonna give you all this data. So depending on what you want, what you feel is important for your stakeout, if this is fine grading, maybe you wanna put, you know, maybe you wanna put the low points and the high points and the vertical point, of vertical P, uh, PCs and vertical PTs, or, you know, maybe you wanna make sure that on a long straight and you wanna get the curve, they want, you wanna tell the contractor or the grader where the, uh, your horizontal curve is starting, so include those as well. So that's based on uh, what is required um, by your site contractor. So now we've come to the point where we're ready to stake out the station. So I can bounce between negative 14, if I zoom in, and if I change the offset to 14, it will jump between both sides of the road. So now I can, if I hit, if you remember the previous station, I'm gonna jump every 50 feet. So when I jumped 50 feet, after the screen disappears, I've jumped, the next station is a PC in the center line. So I have a PC at five, five plus 18. I can choose to stake out that PC if I want, but now before I get to 50 plus 50, at 50 plus 37, I have a vertical PVC, a PC, and then Next, now I'm at five plus 50. Next station, I'm at six plus 100. Now I'm at a low point. So you have these options of controlling where what is critical on your layout.
All right, so that's way one way of using road alignment. But if I so if I come to the main job and I come into the properties of this job and I come to linked design data, here's where the road design is. I can choose to add this road design to this job. Um, use road design data and un, and it's checked because we linked it and when we created it. If I create a new job and I come over to this, I can create a, another job has another intent or different task and also do the road design and click this option. So road design uh, does create a uh, DBX file that can be associated with any job you want. So Okay, so now let's take a look at creating an alignment with the uh, shortcut of skipping the whole road design process. Um, so we're going to come into the job that we're working in and we want to import the, the alignment. So we're going to come into import data alignment type is Carlson in this case I'm going to pick my two center line files vertical and then the, there's the, uh, the so you get your center line and your profile and again I'm not using a section file and import as the last time we did road design this time we're going to do alignment in a current job so we're going to say okay it's been imported so you can say do you want to import any more no and once we can just take a look at the data, so we go to view and edit data, and we go to lines, and, and there is the um, the lines that we just imported. Okay, so now we're going to go to stake to align, line. If I click this, there it is. So, in the previous method with creating a uh, a road design, uh, this was blank, and we had to come to import and import it. And when you imported it, you created a road design. Was the an alignment was created um, from the road design? Well, this is the shortcut, and this kind of now creates the alignment. So I'm gonna say okay. Now, if I want to take a quick look at it, 3D viewer is my direction for the arrows. I can reverse it if I wanted to. I can go down station, but in this case, I'm gonna go up station. I'm gonna say okay. And again, if you want to just check your settings, just make sure we're on the same page. Use station terminology. I like that on. So when you're at station 200, not distance along the line at 200 feet. Um, allow entering of distances and offsets. So if your intent is to lay out a 12 or 14 or 20 or 30 foot offset, you want to be able to allow offsets. So you would make sure this box is checked. You can view your results if you want. I also like heights come to here allow editing of heights so if for some reason you knew that a point was uh, needed to be changed you can change it on the fly we talked about design um, and this is basically the um, your horizontal layout your vertical layout uh, and some other options depending on if um, if you were using them for a, a 3d line uh, you can set up your info tab so that you're getting uh, information on the fly um, about where you are on the line or how far off the line, kind of a real-time uh, uh, information. So when I say OK, so now we're going to start a station again, we'll start station 500 with a 15 foot offset, 14 foot offset, and you know what, we're gonna, the contractor requested that we put center line crown grades on the offset stake so we're going to leave that at zero and uh, we're going to do every 50 feet and for this example the contractor says all he needs is rough grading so all he wants is every 50 foot station so we come into and i check the box okay we come into choose we're going to get rid of pcs and pts and and the verticals okay so now when i say okay so we're starting at station 500 and as i hit now we're on a curve. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, so we're on the curve. We bypassed the, the PC. All right. So station 50, 600, station 650, 700. So it's skipping the PCs, the PTs, the VPTs, um, low points, high points, all the primary points because the maybe the example that we want to do is uh, just for rough grading and the contract has requested two foot offsets. So that is uh, building an alignment or the quickest method to build an alignment and the easiest for using stake to align. 
Another option of getting the data from the office to the controller is to send a uh, have the office send an XML file which packages the uh, all the profiles and the center lines in one. So if the object is to say, hey, here here are three roads I need you to stake out, um, instead of sending uh, you know a center line and profile for road one, center line and profile for road two, and center line for profile for three, and then importing them and downloading them, you can just do it all in one as an XML file. So an XML file is basically an easy way to package up a bunch of files into one, kind of like a zip file. Uh, it can contain profiles and center lines and DTMs and points. Uh, it, there's multiple options that can be done in CAD and exported and uh, Captivate will take that XML file. So let's take a look. So we're going to come into import data, again alignments. This time we're going to pick land XML from the options. I'm going to pick the file. This is my uh, XML file that I uh, imported. Uh, into the controller or the, it's sitting in the data folder ready to be uh, imported into the job so again we're going to create an alignment uh, in the current job so I'm going to say okay uh, there are three lines and say okay and three lines were imported so do you want to do any more I'm going to say no let's just take a quick look view and edit data go to lines there here are three streets with the profiles and their lengths and um, so we're going to say OK. We're going to go to state to align. OK. And we can look at the 3D viewer. There's GE Boulevard. And if we wanted to look at, look at one more 3D viewer. Uh, there's the other. So pick the street you want again go into your offsets and stake it out so that is alignments in a quick view as I said in the beginning of this video that I did not plan on touching the alignment editor and manually entering the field and stake to a road um, alignment editors for a user who's given a set of plans and wants to punch in all the all the vertical data and center line horizontal data by hand um, I think the easier way is to get a CL file or profile from the uh, office or uh, used by uh, prepared by a CAD tech or somebody who who has um, created the uh, center line and the uh, profile in CAD and transferred it to a usable file so uh, like this video uh, and uh, subscribe to my uh, site. Thanks.